What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Jake Shavink here, and today we are diving back into the film room to take a look at Texas defensive tackle Byron Murphy and why he has game record potential. Now, Byron Murphy currently listed at six foot zero and a half, two hundred ninety-seven pounds, posted a nine point two RAS. Really, really strong numbers across the board. The ten yard split, the explosion drills, the agility drills. Really, only the height and weight is really what's bringing that number down. He had a breakout 2023 season, 45 pressure, six sacks, 21 run stops, and led college football in pass rush win rate and pass rush productivity from the defensive tackle position. Really, the one knock in terms of the numbers is the 13.1% career missed tackle rate. That number was up to 18% in his final season. That's really the one thing you look on paper and say he's got to clean up. But now let's take a look at the film room to see uh, where Byron Murphy really thrives at defensive tackle. All right, guys, so we're going to the film room taking a look at Byron Murphy. I think the first thing that, that jumps out on film, right, is this. is, is He's dropping to a knee when he does a lot of uh, of his work taking on double teams. It, it's fun. Is it practical for the next level? Not necessarily, but, like, he, he, he's made it effective. He's made low man wins, you know, he's taken it to another level. And he's made plays right there, a little TFL. Right here, standing his ground to affect the run. Right, running back has nowhere to go. Like, he, he's made it decently effective to the point where, like, you know, it's fun to watch him, him do this on every rep possible, like just winning the point of attack somehow when he's doing that kind of stuff. Now, as a run defender, more practically, I think you see a lot more from him, right? He does a nice job getting off blocks here against Alabama. Same thing, but flow to the football, good athleticism, good range, good quicks in the short area to go make some plays here against Baylor. Really nice defeating the reach block, right? Getting into the backfield for a TFL. Like that, that's a big part of his game, the quicks and the power at the point of attack here, a nice job making sure that, you know, the line of scrimmage stays at the line of scrimmage, or I'm driving you backwards a yard or a half a yard to disrupt the running backs rush lanes to disrupt timing on the blocks and let, you know, linebackers and my other teammates flow to the football, make things easier on them. Same thing here, sit and leverage the gap, right? The line, the lineman is pushed back into the running back. Running back has to make a quick adjustment and you have your second level defenders there to make plays. Love the pad level here, right? He's playing very low. He's playing balanced. He's got the flexibility to do that, right? And it does a good job affecting runs. Sit leverage in the gap like he does here against Oklahoma, and then shed the block and make a play quickly. Like he has that level of power, that level of vision in the run game, and the level of quickness as well. Like here against Houston, splitting the double team, right? And affecting a run really quickly. Here against uh, against BYU, it's it's a similar thing where he is you know in contact phase with a lineman, but he's staying balanced on the move, and and he can be there to affect things. Like he is not disrupted by contact. He's got movement skills. He can churn his way through um, blocking attempts. Now here a slant where he needs to get into this gap wins with quickness, wins with that with, with his hand usage to the point where he is disrupting the run. Running back has to cut back enough guys at the second level there to easily make a play and disrupt that that run immediately here the center tries to get him on the backside of this run look at the ability to turn the corner to bend and to get around a block and make a play in backside pursuit really really good job here same thing against oklahoma state we're you know we're holding the point of attack two against two blockers there, holding a double team really nice job and here sit leverage right get eyes on the quarterback for a potential run shed the block make the tackle before the quarterback can score really really impressive stuff here he's losing at the point of attack, right? But the ability to stay balanced, to recover, and to get off the block while simultaneously helping make a play in the backfield, insane work. Once again, getting off the block against Washington, limiting the run to no gain to very little, right? That's, it's all there. And when Byron Murphy is a pass rusher, you see good hand usage, pretty solid technique, and in the ability to counter and win late in the rep here. This is not an optimal position for an offensive lineman to be. It's a little late in the rep, but Murphy has that motor to keep going. Here you see the quicks combined with the club rip move there against the lineman to quickly win, right? A violent strike, quick out of his stance, there to disrupt your quarterback. Again, hand swipes immediately. Then we're getting into the bull rush. We're going to drive the center back. We're going to hopefully flush the quarterback out of the pocket, which he helps do there. How about quick wins? Like you see that. Like the quick win here against the right guard. Club, arm over, disrupt, quarterback has to take off immediately. Like that kind of stuff is what matters. Once again, you see the quicks there, 
right? You'd like to see better pad level. I think when arriving at contact, we'll talk about that at the end, but the quicks and the ability to rip, get into that gap as a rusher and affect the quarterback. Like that is impressive. That combination of quicks here again, a bull rush where it's just drive the center back into the quarterback's lap. And like, he's doing this as well, where there's quarterbacks are making a lot of quick throws. So it's hard to disrupt. How about splitting a double here and forcing the quarterback to get flushed and out of the pocket? He did rush from the five tech on a few reps. It wasn't a lot, but you see him here against Kingsley Suamataya, where inside move, rip through, keep the feet moving through contact and nearly disrupt the quarterback there. Once again, he's he's getting double teamed in pass protection. Throw your hands off one club arm over to the other one, and you're almost there to affect the quarterback after having taken on two blockers at once. Here, really nice. Look at him get his hands in tight and force the lineman to try and reset isn't able to do that this is the type of pad level i want to see murphy get at contact every time if he can and it's going to pay big time dividends in the league if he can here quick quick strike good extension push pull move lineman's on the ground and you're affecting the quarterback exactly what you need to be doing as an interior pass rusher at the next level same thing here good extension push pull lineman on the ground easy easy stuff Easy to replicate with a guy like Murphy. Here, good good hand placement. We're in tight against Oklahoma State. Rip move to get around. And look at him turn the corner. Like, that's really good for a three-technique pass rusher. It really is. And then on this play where it's, it's almost looking like a pass rusher here in that, like, hesitation move. Now look what he's attacking. He's attacking half of the offensive linemen. That's a lot of what edge rushers are taught to do. And because he can do that, generate some extension and, and hand placement that can drive him off of his spot. Look at him. Lyman, this is a horrendous position to be in. And you're there to affect the quarterback because you're getting him into the half man as a defensive tackle. Right? That's insane. Once again, the push pull, the club arm over, all that stuff that he can do, it's affecting the quarterback at a high level. Once again, get off a couple guys, right? This is against Troy Fautanu. Sheds him, splits the the double recovery and gets in the face of Michael Penix Jr. Another one here where he does a nice job challenging the swipe and then pad level. Once again, use the, use your hands, use, use your leverage, use that power you have in the lower half to disrupt and, and then get in the quarterback's face and make him make a quick check down. Really, really strong stuff there. Really, really impressed. Now there are things to work on, right? We talked about the tackle rate at the top of, of the video. You have to be able to finish plays like that. That missed tackle rate needs to get better at the next level. There are still times where, as a defensive tackle, he's driven off the ball, and not necessarily by by two guys, usually just one. Like here, left tackle's only giving a little bit of help. Murphy got driven off the ball by 50 pretty good there. Okay? And, and at his pad level, you've seen the flashes of what pa his pad level can do. Like, you, you can see that there against, against BYU. We need to get better pad level here when we're trying to rush the passer, right? We're too high up. He tried to do the club move. He needs to get, you know more in tune of like arriving at contact with better pad level he's going to be able to be more flexible he's going to be quicker he's going to be able to counter easier like he goes for the for the quick club move there for the swipe and then he just tries to get into bull rush it doesn't really work until later in the rep like arriving at contact high is going to cause him some problems right here is a great example against washington like this is the exact one that you're looking for where you go yeah you got to get your hands in tighter and you need to be able to, to, to work with better pad level to drive offensive linemen back into the quarterback. So Byron Murphy has a lot to like. There's no doubt, right? You see an array of moves as a pass rusher. You see him be able to, to affect the pocket in a lot of ways. You see him be able to stack and shed. He's also doing that in the run game, right? He, he's doing a lot of things that are disruptive. And that's what makes him have that game record potential. It's just, you know, fine-tuning the technique when you arrive in contact, right? It, it's just those the type of little things that that you get into the right developmental program in the league they're going to create a really really good player at the next level and i think that's what byron murphy is uh, out of texas so hope you guys enjoyed this video on byron murphy if you did throw a like down there subscribe if you're new plenty more going on uh, ahead of draft season during the draft and post draft there'll be a lot of content for you guys i will catch you guys in the next video farewell